you, you went through the, for me, the one, two big golden periods, the Langham period and then the Phillips period. Mm -hmm. Langham, I think, gave the company style and uh, technique, uh, discipline, a, a choreographic sense uh, that if you, once if you if once if you followed his choreographic pattern, you could see how it uh, how it um, uh, illuminated the text. Right. He was brilliant at that. Robin came along, and and the best way I can describe what Robin did with with festival was to give. The festival, its soul. The, the, it just the, the quiet, uh, but I, every time, every time I know this, that in all of Robin's productions, at least I would guess most of them, if not all of them, the audience could, would come in and feel very, very comfortable because some something. He did. He would do either with uh, a combination of of the music, the lights, or uh, whatever was on stage. There was a, there was a, just a sense of calm anticipation, if one can put those two words together. It 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 wasn't excitement. It was just anticipatory. Something interesting is going to happen tonight. So Phillips, you think, gave uh, gave the soul to a placement of, of soul and presence he, to the place. Uh, Raman seemed to he seemed to know what actors wanted to do even before before they did it. Uh, it it's it's rather mystic, and I can't explain it. I'm just telling you, telling you, this is what happens. That ultimately, you feel perfectly comfortable with Robin in as a director. He talks a lot. And I like actors, uh, directors who talk a lot, and because if you listen, and Robin would go on for maybe four or five minutes, and if you actually listen and then don't tune out, from in that five minutes you will pick up a phrase or something that is invaluable to you and relative to, to the moment. Uh, and sometimes his directions are so. Um, Huge in their implication. For example, I, I'm, uh, I've used this before in, in other interviews. Uh, <clears throat> when I was playing Lady Bracknell, he gave me a, a, a note one day, which had not only wonderful implications for Lady Bracknell, but huge implications beyond. He said, Lady Bracknell can move through a room without disturbing one speck of dust. So I mean immediately you see a figure that just goes through the room like this, sits down. Total authority out of the very stillness. That's where the bigger picture comes, the authority of stillness. Where, where I always believe that it's that I never move unless it improves on stillness, and I never speak unless I think it improves on silence. <laughs>